So we, we see in John that he describes Jesus as the Word. And this is a powerful way to describe God. Now, there's many ways to describe God. In, in Greek, the word is uh, logos, and it shows up all sorts of interesting words in our language. And anciently, the word logos meant word. It also meant reason or intellect or understanding, even science and learning. For example, you might find words like this today, biology, where at the end of the word, bios means life, biology literally means the study of life. And all of that is based on the words that we gain of truth and light knowledge. And since God is the word, he is the totality of all things. He is the alpha and omega. He is the author and finisher of our faith. And so he invites all of us to delve into his word so that we can know the word. I find it significant that DNC 93, it wasn't a revealed painting, even though I love art. What God revealed here to define more fully who he is for us was done through words. And I think we can glory and find joy in the fact that God delivers his word to us, both in written form and in the enfleshed reality of his son, Jesus Christ.